Hi! In this video, we are going to be looking at the two major divisions of the nervous system. So, first of all, I hope you remember that this is the nervous system. So, if I remove the skin, all of these that you're seeing on the screen, those are parts of the nervous system. Now, in order for us to kind of understand the whole nervous system, we have to first take a look at its major divisions, okay? So you have the nervous system, and then that nervous system is divided primarily into two divisions. The first division is what we call the central nervous system, and then the second division is called the peripheral nervous system, okay? So what does the central nervous system do? Well, it's the central decision makers for the whole nervous system and since the nervous system is the master communication and coordination system over the, the body so that essentially means that the central nervous system are organs in the body that make the decision making for the nervous system and not just for the whole nervous system but for all for everything in the body okay so the central nervous system you can think of it as the control organs. These are the organs that make decisions for your body. And then the peripheral nervous system is kind of like the other parts of the nervous system that help the central nervous system do its job. So, uh, for example, what are the organs in your body that make decisions for your body? Well, it's the brain. And the second one is the spinal cord. Right? So the brain is not surprising because we all know that uh, everything is decided by the brain. But this spinal cord is kind of uh, surprising a little bit. But uh, if you remember our discussion, when you accidentally touch a hot stove, the signal of that sensation of hotness is actually sent to your spinal cord. And your spinal cord decides to do a reflex action so that you can move your hand away from the stove to prevent your hand from damaging and the signal never really gets to the brain so in that sense the spinal cord is also a decision maker the decisions in the body are not just created by the brain some although a very small fraction of them like reflex actions are actually created by the spinal cord because of that we consider not just the brain, but also the spinal cord as part of the set of the governing part of the central of the nervous system, which is the central nervous system. So again, the brain and the spinal cord, both of them make decisions for your body, and therefore those two organs are part of the central nervous system. The peripheral nervous system are just the other things in the nervous system that kind of help the central nervous system do its job. So for example, uh, when you accidentally hot, uh, when you accidentally touch a hot stove, the spinal cord cannot decide to make a reflex action if it didn't know that you actually touched a hot stove. So therefore, there must be some kind of nerve that you know sends a signal to the spinal cord so that the spinal cord cord knows that uh, knows what happened, and therefore there are there should be. Um, connections to the other parts of the body and these connections are the shuttles of information from and to the different parts of the body so that is what we call the peripheral nervous system while the central nervous system is just really concerned about decision making and again two organs in your body that does the decision making are the brain and the spinal cord majority of them are decided by the brain but as a small fraction, namely reflexes, are decided by your spinal cord. Now, uh, it is uh, tempting to kind of uh, divide this two and say, oh, okay, maybe CNS or the central nervous system is an equal footing to the peripheral nervous system. After all, these are two divisions that spring out from the nervous system. But in reality, that's not the case. The per in, if you really think about it, it's the central nervous system that is on top of everything because the peripheral nervous system are just connections. At the end of the day, those connections still hook up to the central nervous system and it's still the central nervous system that does the decisions. So while it is tempting to say that, you know, 
these, this uh, nervous system is divided into two, into two equal divisions? The reality is no. We just call them like that so that it's easy so that it's easier to digest in terms of conceptualizing the parts. But in reality, the peripheral nervous system is under the central nervous system. But in terms of functions, decision-making functions are the functions of the central nervous system, while the interconnection, the connection to the other parts of the body, that's the function of the peripheral, per peripheral nervous system. Okay? In the next video, we will be discussing the other subdivisions uh, further than what we have already written here.